So once again, today we're talking about HR Files know-how, keeping your employment records and you organized. My name is Melvin Stevenson, and I am your presenter today. So just to get some um, important information out of the way right away, I'm going to read this notice. This material is for educational and informational purposes only. It is not intended to be a substitute for detailed research or the exercise of appropriate legal, regulatory, or financial professional judgment. This information should not be construed as legal, tax, accounting, finance, or other professional advice. The views expressed here are those of me, the presenter and author, and are not to be attributed to my firm or my clients. So I want to welcome everybody again for this presentation, and I invite you to get ready for uh, the next hour by grabbing a notebook and pen and jotting down any questions that you have. Now, there's also a chat box, so you're free to jump into the chat box and put your questions in there as well throughout the uh, presentation, and then at the end of the hour, we'll be able to take those questions directly. Also, turn off any other browsers that you may have and silence those phones so that you're not distracted. Basically, create a quiet place for yourself to focus on this training. So here's what we plan to show you so that you can get lots out of this course. We're going to go through identifying the different types of records, forms, and documents that you should maintain access to, archive, or destroy. We'll also assess different methods for storing and accessing, accessing sensitive documents and information. And we'll look at some security considerations that you should keep in mind. We'll also go through planning, developing, and implementing a records management program, including periodic check-ins for yourself and for your team. Basically, we're going to show you how to design and perform a records retention audit that is practical and usable and will get the job done for you so that you have less headaches about it. So this course is basically for anybody in the HR team, anybody with direct administrative responsibilities for employee-related file retention. And that's a mouthful, but basically it encompasses the supervisors, the managers, the directors, anybody who may have some of those employee files information in their desk or on their computer. We'll get to that. Also, it's for leaders overseeing employee-related information and for business owners who have no HR manager or staff, and therefore the responsibilities that would normally go to the HR leader falls to the business owner. Today's agenda will consist of why this course is relevant to you, some basic categories of employee records including forms and documents, and your company's records management policy. Ah, you may be thinking, ooh, I don't have one. Well, we'll get to that because I'll provide you with the building blocks to create your own policy. So we'll talk about storage, access, and like I said, security to those records. We'll also go through designing and performing a records management audit and then some practical tips to help keep things sane where you are. So my name is Melvin Stevenson. I am certified in HR. I've spent almost 20 years in the HR profession working mostly with large manufacturing companies. I've also worked with startups as well. And today I own and manage my own HR and business advisory firm. So I'm pleased to be here and thank you all for joining in. So let's get right into it. Why learn about records management? Well. Let's face it, it can be confusing. There's so many requirements that, re that, that call for record keeping, retention, destruction. Uh, there's different federal agencies that require different types of um, information to be kept. And then you have the individual states. So for those of you that are operating in different geographical areas, this can be a real headache. There's also local statutes. So I'm based in Los Angeles, 
and and I can tell you that it's crazy because now the cities are doing different things, and it's not just the state in and of itself. There's also regulations that you need to consider um, that apply to all employers, or maybe it's to some employers based on size. It can be based on whether you're a government contractor and the like. So it's a lot. So there's many good benefits of setting yourself up with a good records management system, the least of which is more brain space and more calm in your office. So it's important to protect sensitive employee information. And we'll jump into that later on in this presentation because many of you have been hearing about consumer data breaches at large retail companies and even governmental agencies. Well, we know that employers themselves are keepers of very valuable and confidential information about about its people. All right, we also need to um, ensure that there's ready access when the files are needed. And as we've gone through in the last slide, there are needs to be compliant with certain regulations. You also need to be able to efficiently access information for legal and litigation requests. Yes, in this day and age that happens even when we least expect it. So we want to be able to set ourselves up with a system where files can be accessed relatively easily. We also want to control the volume of information. We don't need to keep everything. That's the good news. So we'll go into that. And also record keeping and operating storage costs can be astronomical if we're trying to manage everything, and we don't have to. Overall, it will help to increase the productivity of not only the HR operations of any business, but also overall business operations. So what happens if you have bad records management? Oh, yes, we have to talk about that because it shows the importance of having the good records management system, right? So applicable laws can result in civil monetary penalties. Yes, this can cost businesses big time. And in some cases, the individual will be responsible for any damages that result from bad records management. And then it also weakens your ability to defend against employee-related litigation. Employees can also be sued for wrongful termination of employee records. It can be a scary world out there. So throughout this presentation, because I don't want it to be hairy and scary, I'm going to pepper in some fun facts so that it can break up the tone and the, um, the monotony, if you will, of this topic. So I call them fun facts. So these fun facts will be interesting and maybe a little bit puzzling, but it will give your, your mind a mental break. I find that this is a great way to present a heavy topic like this. So the first one is that, believe it or not, U.S. managers spend an average of four weeks per year searching or waiting on misfiled, mislabeled, untracked, or lost papers. My goodness, one-twelfth of the year. That's crazy. All right, so let's get into our next topic, and that is the basic categories of records. So the basic breakdown is pretty simple, but as we'll get into it, you'll see that each bucket, if you will, includes quite a bit of information. But keep these broad strokes in mind because this will help you to organize uh, your thoughts and, of course, your files. So the first one is the personnel file and then the medical file. Then there is a hiring file, and then there's a separate file kind of like a miscellaneous, but not quite. And then there's confidential or other file. And you may be thinking, well, everything's confidential. Well, yes, it is. But this one is a very special confidential or other file. And then I-9 forms, and finally, employee benefit enrollment forms. So this is a system that I have used with companies that I've worked with, and I think that it's a, it's a good system to rely on. So I'm going to share it with you. 
So the first type is the personnel files, and I'm not going to read off everything. Uh, for those of you that are getting the slides, I wanted to provide you with this list so that you can work from it, and it will provide a framework for you to build your own uh, records management system. So the first one is personnel files, and it's generally anything that's job related. There's, um, so if you think about the time at which the employee starts to be your employee from day one, these are some of the things that would have uh, been presented to the employee or that describes the employee's employment. So, um, and everything that goes on in the life cycle, if you will, of the employee being with your company performance reviews, um, all the way down to separation documents. And then there's some really cool things that happen, the good stuff, you know, like awards. And then um, it's a good idea to keep some training records in there too. And we'll talk about the electronic versions of um, all of these documents as well. So, but this is just once again, this is to build a framework for you so that you can organize your thoughts and, of course, your files. All right. The next one is medical records. So the idea and the emphasis is to keep the personnel files separate from medical records. Yes, it is separate. So if you took a look into the file cabinets of the companies that I worked with, we had a hanging file and then we had the personnel file in one file, and that can be a multi-section one. So maybe one side would be the job related, and the other side would be hiring records and so on. Or it may be just one single manila-style folder that has all of the information in the general file. And then in the same hanging file, there's another manila folder or divide. Thank you so much for taking a few minutes to watch this clip from one of our online meetings. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel, stay up to date, and stay compliant. This video was brought to you by GRCTS. We are also known as GRC Training Solutions. And here's a quick information about us and what we do. We conduct many compliance and non-compliance training courses throughout the year, covering some of the most important areas within several industries. Our focus is to provide the best and the most up-to-date classes to our audience. All training modules are designed and facilitated by industry subject matter experts who possess years and years of experience and understand compliance very well. Our customers attend our online classes from all over the world. If you are not available to attend live meeting classes, you can always opt in to get unlimited access to our on-demand or recorded classes. We also provide in-person and face-to-face -face workshops on-site workshops where our experts will visit your company at your location and train you and your colleagues, LMS trainings, and finally, corporate subscription plans, where you pay a little amount to enjoy unlimited access to our courses. We have monthly, quarterly, and annual subscription plans. Here's our contact information for you. If you're interested in learning in any of these topics or if you know a colleague or a friend who might benefit from our classes, please contact us or visit our website for more information. It's www.grcts.com. You can always send us an email, support at grcts.com, or just give us a call, 248-233-2049.